anyway. Who's the other person I'm waiting on? Andrew, I think. Because right. all out doing spin over next door and workout now. <laughs> I'm waiting for Andrew, and if he's not here, um, you guys just need like a kettlebell or dumbbell um, to start with, and some space as well. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to give Andrew a minute. If he doesn't join, we're going to just get rocking and rolling. Just shows what better the hot weather does and the end of lockdown. <laughs> right, no idea where Andrew is, so we're just going to get started. So, guys, um, we are not going to do part A, which is uh, warm up, all right, but we're going to do Turkish get ups. We'll get warm up doing that going through that movement um, movement pattern. And then um, we're going to spend 10 minutes doing some alternating Turkish get-ups, just at your own pace, working on that form, that technique. Then we're going to move into five rounds in two minutes, 15 to 20 burpees, which is a tall ask, and then in the remaining time, as many Russian swings as you can. You're going to get a 90-second cap on burpees, all right? So you might only get 30 seconds of Russian swings. If 15 to 20 burpees is too much, you can go between 10 to 15 as an option, or you could do um, a different variation of burpee, like a no press up burpee, if you want to get through those higher reps. I'm going to leave that up to you guys tonight and see how you're feeling. Cool? Excellent. <clears throat> All right. Now, um, we're going to, I'll go to AJ. We'll go through some Turkish get up flows. I know you guys have done it, but it's always good to reiterate the Turkish get up and just go through those stages. So we're going to start with AJ on the floor. You can have a little sit back and watch him to start with. So remember, when we're starting, we've got that same arm, same leg, and we first start with that get up, sit up. So AJ's going to push through his elbow and his forearm into the get up, sit up. And when he's there, you can see that his back arm is straight and he's looking at that hand as he's going to now progress to that hip up. And now he's going to bring that leg back and through as quick as he can. Notice how his body, torso, and angle changes. He's then going to posture up, stand nice and tall. And you notice how he pivots his foot. And then in reverse, reverse lunge down, pivots the foot. Hand, find the floor as close to you as you can. Get that leg out, sit back on your bum, and then elbow and roll down to the floor. Okay, people? So... Ideally, if you can, tilt your camera down <laughs> a little bit so I can see you. If not, no problem. But we are going to go through a couple of Turkish get-ups, body weight to start with, all right? So sort your position out, sort your camera out, and then we'll go through this together. That's good, Paul. Perfect. Excellent. All right, you just wait there a second. Because there's so few of us, I can talk us through this one stage at a time. So I'll just wait for Joe to get all organized. Uh, Joe Martin, you're frozen for me at the minute. So I can't see you. Now I'll be back now. Okay. Are we guys in position? I'm not sure. Two seconds, guys. Two seconds. So we just got somebody here. Two seconds. Sorry, guys. Right, let's sit on the floor for me. Okay, following AJ's lead. So we start with our right arm, right leg. Let's perform the get up, sit up first, so off you go. Then focus on that hip up. Leg through, get onto that knee. 
Then posture up, stand nice and tall. Reverse lunge down. Hands to the side. Leg out. Okay, switch arms and go for the other arm. Off you go. I'll be right back. Just go through one rep. Just got some interference here, guys. Sorry. People trying to walk into the gym. Excellent. Once you've done one each side, give me another one each side for me, just with your bone body weight again. Remember to take it in stages. Make sure that hand is out by the side of you. Good. Reverse lunge down. Hand to the side. Nice, Joe. Good, Martin. Nice work, Polly. Okay, great. Excellent. You guys have pretty much got it. All right? Obviously, we can improve as we go. What we do now is get an object. It doesn't have to be heavy. It could be very light if you want to. You can use your kettlebell, your dumbbell. And what we're going to do is we're going to put 10 minutes on the clock, and we're going to cycle through some Turkish get-ups for that 10-minute period. All right, so just get yourself sorted. Okay. Right, everyone's looking ready to go. I'm going to put 10 minutes on the clock. We're going to flow through as many alternating Turkish gaps as we can. Okay, so in five seconds, three, two, one, off we go. All right, so we're going to spend 10 minutes doing this. I don't want you to rush. What we'll probably do at the two and a half minute mark, we'll take a little short rest. So let's start, let's start by working for two and a half minutes non-stop, all right? Make sure you switch arms each rep. As you push that floor away, start by thinking that I'm gonna push through my elbow, then down my forearm and into my hand as I sit up. You guys all go at different paces, but I'm just gonna try and give you some cues just for you to focus on as we're going through. Joe, when you come to the start next time, just make sure your arms are a little bit um, more out to your side. I know you're struggling with your wrist there. But just try and get that arm more out to your side. Like a, uh, Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. There you go. That's better. Then you create a wider base then. Nice, Martin. Lovely transition, Polly. Nice. Nice work, AJ. <laughs> kind of like a PT session tonight, huh? Over Zoom. You've got one minute, and I'm going to give you a little bit of a rest, okay? So just keep working for another minute for me. When we start rolling back down onto the floor, get onto your elbow and then roll down through your hand. And very important that we get that hip up to the ceiling before we try and dive that leg back and through and underneath. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Just shake it out if you're finishing your last rep off there. Ten seconds. All right, take a little rest for me, guys. I'm gonna give you a yeah, I'll give you a minute's rest, and then we'll go back into another two and a half minutes, working our way up to ten. Okay. Now I'm not admiring uh, people's houses here, but uh, Joe and Martin. I like your conservatory. It's very nice. <laughs> it's like a great space to hang out in. <clears throat> uh, 40 seconds, guys. <clears throat> Expecting it's going to get a little bit quieter now. 
for the rest of the week with the gym sort of open, semi-open now. And people get out of the sunshine. 20 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. We're going to work for another two and a half minutes again. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Off we go. Good. Focus on that elbow and forearm first, okay? The elbow is the better point to push from than the hand. Everyone seems to push from the hand straight away. Push from the elbow into the forearm. Whenever we're doing Turkish gallops, again, it's usually always done for that quality piece. Don't go fast for these movements. You want to be able to control each stage of the movement, okay? Showing that great control and mobility at the same time. <laughs> and obviously the heavier the weight we get to, the more challenge it challenges on your body. And it's interesting what starts to happen as he gets heavy, how the body will try and cheat its way through certain parts. Nice, Polly. Good. Nice transition, Paul. Good, Martin. Those are looking good. Just remember, guys, as we're coming back down to the ground and people put their hands behind them, don't reach back really far. We want to just reach out to our side to separate that torso from the hip, okay? Find the ground as quickly as you can. Don't reach back for it. We're coming up on a minute. So just keep working for me as best you can. Forty seconds, people. You got it. Nice work, AJ. So give me either one more rep or take a little rest. We've got twenty seconds still. Nice, AJ. Good. Fifteen seconds. 10, yeah, five, three, two, one. Okay, another minute's rest, and then we're gonna go for one more set of work before we move into the main event this evening. Just a minute now. Take a scalps. Yeah, AJ saying he gets to choose one movement rest of his life he'd choose Turkish gaps I'm not sure I don't know I'm kind of in that same uh, kind of in that ballpark that's a good point <laughs> as long as I can do it with a sandbag <laughs> yeah sandbags Turkish gaps they're interesting 15 seconds all right, and then we're going to go for our last two minutes, two and a half even. Okay, people, five seconds. Three, two, one. Give me your last two and a half minutes of Turkish get-ups. Very nice, everyone. Okay, last two minutes. 
I'm going to dig that heel into the ground as you push that hip up. Hip, and then get that leg through onto the knee. It's always onto the knee, not onto the other foot, which is what a lot of people try to do when they're first learning Turkish gaps. Uh, we're coming up 90 seconds now, 90 seconds. And coming up on one minute, everybody, one minute. So maybe you got one or two more reps. We're about to hit that 30 second period. If you're on your last kind of rep, that's fine. Finish off there, everyone. All right, so that's fine. Polly, you relax. Yeah, Joe, you're good to relax. Mine, finish that rep off for me. And then good stuff. Excellent, people. Okay. Right, I'll share the screen again as you're resting up there. Uh, two seconds. Okay, so moving into now, a couple of minutes yet yeah, to recover. Five rounds, all right? So you've got a two minute window. In that two minutes, 15 to 20 burpees. As I said, you've got a 90 second cap on those burpees. See how you get on. If you find it's too many, either scale the reps down, 10 to 15, or change the burpee variation, which we'll show in a second. Once you finish those burpees, as many Russian swings as possible. And then we will rest one minute between rounds. Remember, Russian swings is eye level. All right, I'm gonna go to AJ now. He'll show you some Russian swings just to refresh you. Remember, so we're going to reach you that kettlebell into the pocket, load, explode, eye level position. Okay? No higher than that, people. Don't go above the nose bridge. Um, obviously, you know a burpee. If you're not going to do burpees for 15 to 20, but you want to hit 15 to 20, no press-up burpee. All right? So you're just going to come into a plank position, back, jump, and clap. Okay? So that's no press-up burpee. All right? Joe, you're right on burpees with your wrist. No, I was going to ask. Can I, can I skip maybe instead? Absolutely. Um, let me just think on reps here. Uh, what's realistic? You didn't see skips. Regular right shoulder health stuff. It seems to have triggered something in my shoulder. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll have a little <laughs> discussion about that. We'll have a, we'll have a little discussion about that afterwards. Um, I'm going to give you probably a hundred single skips. Yeah. Yeah, see, so you get on with that. Okay. Again, 90 seconds. Cool. Excellent. Polly and Josh, um, one point, Josh, Polly and mine, you're good. Excellent. Okay. Cool. I'll let you guys get organized. So remember, we start with the burpees first, 15 to 20, and then Russian swings in remaining time. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Bit of football, Polly? <laughs> Pretty children, that's what it is. Too many children. Too many children, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Here we go. 10 seconds, people. <clears throat> In five, three, two, one, half we go. Okay, so we got our 15 to 20 reps to start with. 90 second cutoff.
So 30 seconds is gone. Fifteen to twenty is a tall order in ninety seconds. First round might be all right, but then it's going to get really tough to maintain that. Forty seconds for burpees. If you have done that, you're moving into your Russian swings for the remaining time. Remember, keep those shoulders coming forward into the pocket. Load, explode. Excellent. Everybody's on to the swings. That's a good job, everyone. Less, uh, just over a minute and 50 seconds to go. Good. Polly, don't heave back through your back. Use your hips more. Snap your legs. All right. Keep your trunk tight. All right. Don't arch through your low back. Yeah. Use your glutes, girl. Use your glutes. 30 seconds. There you go. That's better. Snap your legs sharp. I'll make you fire through your hip. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Good job. Well done. So we only get a minute's rest. Okay. Only a minute. Make the most of it. That's one round. We have four more. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds, everybody. Twenty seconds. Ten. Here we go. In five, three, two, one. Off we go. Yeah, nice guys. Go keep that steady pace on the burpees, whatever you did last time, try and match that. Thirty seconds gone. Just hitting a minute now. One minute gone, one minute left. Get organized before you start swinging. Everything locked in. Forty seconds, everybody. Bit better now, Polly. Good stuff. And at the top, we want a nice neutral spine. So we're not heaving through our low back. There's not an arch. We're stacked. Everything is neutral. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your rib cage down. There you go. Bingo. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Good. Two rounds down. Three to go. Oh. 50 seconds. Forty seconds. Oh. 
30 seconds. Yeah, get your breath in. 20 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. Round three is always the worst one. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Send it. Nice work, everybody. Thirty seconds is gone. Nice work, AJ. Nice work, Paul Mine. Keep going, Joe. We're about to hit one minute gone. One minute left. Nice swings, Joe. Excellent. Doing good, people. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, guys. Two more rounds, nearly there, nearly there. Oh. Yeah. AJ's not liking that much. What are you getting, 15, 20? 20, nice. What are you getting, Paul, 15, 20? 20. 20s, geez. Ooh. Animal. I'll be getting 10. <laughs> I fucking hate burpees. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing I'm not, I'm glad lockdown's over for. I don't have to do burpees anymore for now five years. <laughs> five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Off we go. Come on, then. Round four of five. Nice work, Paul. You go, Martin. Thirty seconds, God. And one minute remains now. One minute. <sighs> 50 seconds. There you go, Polly. Better. Reach back as you come in. Load it in there. Like passing a football between your legs. 
30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Come on. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, one, rest. Good. One more round, one minute's rest. We're nearly done. Getting through it tonight, guys. Doing good. Coming up on thirty seconds. Yeah, it is right. Yeah. 20 seconds. <sighs> 10 seconds. Last effort. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Last two minute period. seconds gone. <sighs> One minute, people. One minute. Come on. Last minute. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds. Be strong now for me. 20 seconds to be done. Knee there. 10 seconds counting you down now. Five, four, three, two, and time. Nice work, the lot of you. Yeah, take a little seat on the floor or whatever you gotta to do to chill out for a second. Give you guys at least a couple of minutes, yeah? I'm gonna give AJ a few minutes, well, a few minutes or whatever. And then we'll stretch off. <clears throat> I don't know how many on the Zoom zone tomorrow. Oh, there isn't any class tomorrow. Um, Thursday, let's have a little look. We'll be starting with AJ. We're going to start with a little thread the needle, people. All right, so just copy AJ there. And uh, let's see how that's looking. So look on Thursday, Thursday, six people Thursday. And then the last Friday, myself and AJ, it's five people. And switch sides. Uh, 
at the end, Joe, if you want to just um, let me know what that shoulder stuff was. Um, I'll hear you out, see what's going on. Okay, next movement or a pigeon pose. So just get that leg up into that kind of right angle position, hands up, and AJ's kind of keeping his hands up at the moment. Legs stretched out behind you into that glute maximus. If you want to go hands on the floor, you can. If you want to go increase the stretch. And let's switch sides. Hands down if you want to. All right, last stretch. Literally just get our feet together. And yep, end of toes, leading over guys, nice and simple to finish here this evening. Deep breath in. Exhale out and relax, guys. Nice. Well done. Joe, still in the chat. Polly, see you later. Martin, well done as well. Thank you, boys. See you soon. See you soon. What's going on, Joe? Well, it seems, I don't really know whether it's to do with my wrist mm -hmm. as well. They seem to have to do with the shoulder holding the hand out. But I can't really get it above my head very well. Okay, interesting. Whether it's because my wrist dodgy, and we've yeah. done lots of burpees, that could be the other thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, see, this is the thing we've got to be careful <laughs> of. With uh, when you have a pre-existing injury, what tends to happen is is other muscles will compensate, obviously, for the injury, and then it's quite common yeah. that uh, you can you can injure something else as a result of an injury that's not quite healed yet, or it has healed, but because of the natural process, you've been using other muscles. So um, what I would say is, is just be very wary of it and be very wary of movements that are kind of, as you say, like burpees, um, etc. And yeah. we need to, for you, we need to be doing more rowing movements. We still need to be doing that shoulder health stuff. Um, yeah. Obviously, yeah. the main thing is it doesn't cause you, you know, discomfort or whatever. Um, but yeah. Um, that's what I'd recommend. Thrusters, a bit dodgy as well, doing yeah. the thrusters. Yeah, there's been um, a lot of overhead movements. And you know what I was saying on that bodybuilding thing the other night? I said about yeah. how everything is up. Yeah. Now, as we, as you could definitely benefit, Joe, from doing some of that stuff I said at the end. And um, yeah. When, yeah. when we meet in person, I can kind of take you through that stuff if you want to or show you a few of those bits yeah. and pieces. That would be really good. Okay. But I have, I'm seeing um, a rheumatologist, well, a Zoom appointment with a rheumatologist on the 12th of April that okay. I'm paying for because the GP wasn't very interested. But my wrist still isn't right. I can't yes. put it on the floor. I mean, that's been, that was October. That, that was, it's been a while. Yeah. So yeah. we need to, what, it's, it's quite frustrating, it can be very frustrating, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> the main thing you need to do is um, we have to be, when you come to classes, you will just have to change movements completely. All right. Yeah. And we and you need to do, as I said, more rowing movements. You need to stay away from things that are gonna cause it more aggro. So I think if if pressing overhead or burpees is gonna be like that, we will just have to change things entirely for you for the meantime. Um yeah. there's no, well, the press there's ups, no I can't do press ups. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, maybe what you can do is buy yourself some, um, you know, the parallettes, like those small push-up parallettes. Yeah, we got some, I think. Got, yeah, so yeah. yeah, we got some. That might be better for you because it's a neutral grip and a neutral wrist, yeah. and you should be able yeah. to do push-ups on, and at the same time, you strengthen your wrist as well. Yeah, but I've been doing it on my my fist. Yeah, it's, it's actually made my joints quite swollen yeah yeah so joe look we need to just have a little rethink when you come back yeah definitely do not jump at the deep end when you get in here all right and uh we'll uh, just speak to i'll mention i'll speak to dan um i'm sure he knows but we'll um, we need to be very mindful how you're proceeding forward all right yeah well i have got one session because i booked session when i hurt my wrist i booked a couple of sessions with liam okay and I've still got one left because of lockdown, because that was yes. back in whenever. So I've still got one session left. Yes. So I'll see him at some stage. He's going to try and book something in when we're back. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. He might give me some alternative exercises as well. Yeah, I can speak to him as well afterwards and then we can go from there. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I've done quite a lot of the Zoom class because there isn't, what else do you do? Well, you know, I've enjoyed yeah. doing the Zoom. Well, yeah, exactly. Keeping that routine, right? Yeah. But it has uh, been a lot of burpees. <laughs> yes, there's been a lot of burpees, and um, it's been it's been hard not to program that stuff in at yeah. times. Yeah. Just because it gets because we don't have an assault bike, we don't the only thing we have is skipping, but also skipping too much of that calves, etc. So yeah. it's just being mindful, and unfortunately, you know, as we get older, we don't recover in the same way as we used to when we we're in our twenties. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, <laughs> yeah, Martin, look, Martin's here laughing, looking rather red. <laughs> he was—he um, didn't have his his uh, microphone on, but he was shouting. He'd done fifteen burpees, but he is fifty-seven. He'd like you to know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you guys do great, but the, the, you, again, it's um, we have to be mindful of like the vol amount of volume and intensity, especially as we get older. Um, and yeah. there's, I think, the problem can be sometimes that. Um, people come in here and they feel like they need to keep up with everyone else. And yeah. we, you know, we've all felt that at times, but we have to be aware of where we are at in our own training um, timeline. And also our age takes a, takes a factor into this. And that's why, especially as you get older, and you can speak to Sam Appleby as well, he'll tell you that bodybuilding is an exceptionally good way to retain muscle mass and it's less impact on your joints over the long, over the long period. Yeah. So the ways and means around it, that's the main thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I did, we did have a conversation the other day that mm. maybe I ought to, or we ought to maybe not do quite so many classes, but maybe do some personal training to actually do more of the weights and the, the stuff mm -hmm. for our age rather yes. than throwing ourselves around and doing... It's, it's a very, you know, a lot of people kind of... Look, there's limits, right? We've all got limits, and your body tells you things. And I only yeah. know, that. and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm only thirty. But I, when I stopped ignoring my, when I started ignoring what my body was telling me. That's when my injuries got way worse. And the thing is, you pay for this down the line. So yeah. that, that shoulder issue I've had, you know, it's taken me seven years to get to a point now where it's actually in a good place. But it will never be the same again, right? So yeah. Yeah. cheers, mate. So we just got to be mindful, Joe. But yeah, absolutely. If you're thinking that route, I couldn't recommend it enough. Um, and we, you know, we can have that discussion when you come back in the gym. And um, but I would, I would say, just be very wary of the classes you're choosing, and maybe choose the ones that don't have so much impact on the body. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No All right. right. No worries, guys. Yeah, I'll speak sorry. to you guys soon. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you ever so much. Take it easy. Bye. 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 bye.